back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and getting ready for a very happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm going to vlog with you about how to make a brownie cheesecake and also how to make a sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving. So, I thought I would have this video actually already out. I know it's kind of pushing it for Thanksgiving. I had some issues with my camera and my battery dying on me, not holding a charge. And then if you can tell by my voice, hopefully it doesn't sound too off, I came down with what I thought was a sinus infection and actually turned out to be a really bad cold. So, let's get right into it so that you can get ready for your holiday festivities. Okay, so the first thing with a brownie cheesecake is I scratched the traditional uh, graham cracker crust bottom for the cheesecake and instead opt to do a brownie bottom. So today I'm going to be using the Duncan Hines uh, brownie mix, the double fudge. I find this to be the absolute best one for the brownie cheesecake, but you do you. This is just the one I like the best. Let me grab some scissors. <clears throat> and then let's get right into it. Okay, so to get started to make the brownie crust for the cheesecake, we are going to combine the brownie mix provided in the box along with one egg. And then we are going to add one third cup oil and one third cup water. Now the reason that I like to use the double fudge brownies for the crust of my chocolate brownie cheesecake is that it is the perfect consistency for my liking. Just chewy enough, not too hard, to be the perfect foundation for a delicious chocolate cheesecake. Now once we have added one third cup water to our mix, we are going to combine all of the ingredients together using the electric mixer here. And then we are going to get ready to add the batter to the pan and put it in the oven. All right, so now I like to wrap my cheesecake pan in aluminum foil just because it does tend to still leak out the bottom even though it's supposed to be a tight, tight seal. But it never seems to work that way for me. And make sure you don't forget to spray the bottom of your cheesecake pan so that your crust doesn't stick. Alrighty. Now let's pour the brownie mix in here. I personally only put about three quarters of the brownie mix into the bottom of the pan because I don't want the crust to be too thick. And now we're going to put it in the oven on 350. Okay, so now that we've placed the cheesecake pan with the brownie batter in the oven, the oven's already preheated to 350, we're going to let that bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. And in that time, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the batter for the cheesecake filling. Now the first thing that I'm going to do in order to make my filling for the cheesecake is take a large mixing bowl that I'll use with my electric mixer and combine 32 ounces of cream cheese along with one and a half cups granulated sugar. Once I have poured all of the sugar and put all of the cream cheese into the bowl, then I'm going to use my mixer to beat the cream cheese and sugar just until it is smooth. You want it to be nice, light, and fluffy. The next thing that I personally like to do is get any of the cream cheese that is stuck on the side of the bowl down, rake it into the bottom of the bowl, that way it gets combined with the sugar a little bit better than it would. Sometimes the mixer will miss anything that is on the side of the bowl. Now the next ingredient that you're going to need is four large eggs. And how I like to go about doing this is I like to add the first two eggs at the same time to the sugar and cream cheese that is already combined in your mixing bowl. And then once I have added those two eggs, I turn my mixer back on, let it combine the eggs with the cream cheese and sugar. 
once that has been done and I feel like it has been fairly combined, I don't like to over mix them in. Then I will add the remaining two eggs one at a time, mixing well after each addition. Now we are going to add 3 quarters cup milk and mix that in with our cream cheese, sugar, and eggs. I like to start this out mixing slow and then slowly adjust my speed up to medium. I never like to get this on high as it will sling milk all over your kitchen. And trust me, I have had to clean that up too many times not to warn you. Now the next ingredient that we are going to add to our cheesecake filling is one cup of sour cream. Once I add that, I like to turn the mixer back on. And then we are going to start adding three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I like to have my mixer running on a low speed as I continuously add in the flour until I have the three tablespoons. Then we are going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and this will be our last ingredient for the cheesecake filling. Now depending on your oven, mine just so happens by the time I have the filling mixed up, I'm ready to take the brownie crust out of the oven, and then I'm going to pour about three-fourths of the cheesecake filling on top of my brownie crust. And I'm going to smooth that out. I find that smoothing out the filling tends to help my cheesecakes not crack as badly as they would. Now I'm going to take about three-fourths of a bag of semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. And I'm going to melt those in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until they're completely melted. Now you're going to want to melt your chocolate chips very slowly. Sometimes I'll even melt them as slow as 20 seconds instead of 30 seconds at a time so that they do not come out tasting burnt because then you'll add that burnt taste into your cheesecake. Once they are fully melted, I'm going to take several heaping spoonfuls and place it all around the top of my cheesecake batter. Then I take a knife and swirl the chocolate into the top of my cheesecake. Now we're going to swirl the chocolate just like so, making for a beautiful chocolate swirl cheesecake look. That is going to look even more beautiful once your cheesecake is baked. Speaking of baking, now that you have your swirl done, you're ready to bake your cheesecake. You'll bake the cheesecake on 350 degrees in your oven for one hour. Once your timer goes off after an hour, you'll want to turn your oven off and leave your cheesecake sitting in the cooling oven for two to three hours. Then remove and place in the fridge. Okay, you guys, now we have the finished product of one chocolate brownie cheesecake ready for the family to enjoy for the holidays. Now, I hope if you try this recipe, you love it as much as I do. And let me know if you give it a try. Until next time, take care, bye.